December 2020. The world of aerospace was jolted awake. China made a bold announcement. It claimed to be developing an aircraft engine capable of reaching Mach 16, 16 times the speed of sound. To put that into perspective, an aircraft flying that fast could theoretically circle the entire planet in just two hours. That's faster than most commercial airliners could travel in a week. This wasn't some futuristic sci-fi concept. This was a real claim, a direct challenge to the limits of modern engineering and aviation. For decades, the fastest recorded aircraft in the United States, the experimental X-43A, hit Mach 9.8. And even that was only for a few brief moments under controlled conditions. Now, China was claiming to nearly double that record and to do it sustainably. The implications were staggering. If true, this wasn't just about breaking speed records. It was about rewriting the rules of flight, defense, and global strategy. Military jets, reconnaissance drones, even high-speed delivery vehicles could potentially reach anywhere on Earth in hours instead of days. The aerospace world had just been given a wake-up call. And the tension between technological ambition and geopolitical power had never been clearer. This was more than an engineering announcement. It was a signal to the world that China was aiming to redefine what was possible in the skies. To understand why China's Mach 16 claim matters, we need to look beyond speed and into strategy. Hypersonic technology isn't just about breaking records. It's one of the most sought-after frontiers in defense and aviation today. Moving at speeds above Mach 5, aircraft can evade traditional radar, outrun missile defenses, and strike targets anywhere on the planet in a fraction of the time current technology allows. Imagine a reconnaissance drone spotting a hotspot on the other side of the world. At today's speeds, it could take hours to get there, and defenses would have time to react. At Mach 16? It's there in under two hours, and by the time anyone notices, the mission could already be complete. That's why nations see hypersonics as a game changer for military strategy and global power projection. But this story isn't just about machines. It's about China's rapid rise in aerospace against the odds. For decades, the country lagged far behind the United States and Russia in aircraft propulsion. Now, with claims like Mach 16, China is signaling that it's not just catching up, it's aiming to lead, potentially reshaping the balance of power in both aviation and geopolitics. To fully grasp the significance of Mach 16, we have to go back a few decades. In the 1980s and 1990s, China's aviation industry was heavily dependent on foreign engines. Most of its military and civilian aircraft either relied on Russian imports or copies of older designs. For example, the turbojet 14 introduced in the 1980s was China's first major step into jet engine technology. But by global standards, it was underpowered and outdated. Later, the Turbo N15 improved on thrust and efficiency, yet it still lagged years behind American and European engines. This dependence wasn't just inconvenient, it limited China's ability to innovate. Every new aircraft design was constrained by the engines they could import or reverse engineer. In the fast-moving world of aerospace, falling even a decade behind meant technological obsolescence. By showing these early struggles, we start to see the scale of China's challenge. They weren't just trying to make faster jets. They were trying to catch up with decades of lost ground, all while building the foundation for a future where they could lead in propulsion technology. China's path to aerospace independence wasn't just slowed by technology gaps, it was actively blocked. Starting in the early 2000s, the United States led a wave of sanctions and export controls aimed at restricting China's access to cutting-edge aerospace components. Key Chinese companies were placed on military blacklists, meaning they couldn't legally buy advanced engines, avionics, high-temperature alloys, or even specialized tools. It wasn't just the United States. Countries like Japan and South Korea also tightened exports of critical materials and technologies. For China, this was like trying to build a high-performance supercar without spark plugs, fuel injectors, or even a steering wheel. 
Every step forward had to be done without access to the very parts that made advanced aircraft possible. This blockade created an enormous challenge but also set the stage for a bold pivot. Rather than give up, China had to develop its own solutions from scratch, forcing the country to think bigger and innovate faster than it ever had before. Faced with technological isolation, China made a bold choice. If they couldn't buy the best engines, they would build them themselves and aim to surpass the world. The government launched a long-term, high-investment strategy, pouring resources into research institutes, military labs, and state-backed aerospace programs. This wasn't just about catching up. It was about leapfrogging. Scientists and engineers were tasked with solving problems decades ahead of their current technology, creating engines that could handle extreme speeds, heat, and efficiency. It was a gamble, but one backed by massive funding, national ambition, and a clear strategic vision. By focusing inward and prioritizing self-reliance, China set the stage for a breakthrough that would eventually challenge the established leaders in aerospace. What had once seemed impossible, engines capable of sustained hypersonic flight, was now the target. Now, let's talk about what hypersonic flight really means. Hypersonic speeds are defined as anything above Mach 5. That's five times the speed of sound. But China's goal of Mach 16 takes us into a whole new realm. At these speeds, the challenges aren't just technical, they're extreme. Air friction generates temperatures hotter than molten lava, conventional metals risk melting, fuel can become unstable, and the very behavior of air changes. Even in the United States, hypersonic experiments have struggled. The X-15 once reached Mach 6.7, the X-43A hit Mach 9.8, but only for 11 seconds, and the X-51A Waverider managed Mach 5.1 for 6 minutes before heat and combustion instability forced it to slow down. Sustained hypersonic flight remained an unsolved problem. China's aim was different. They weren't satisfied with brief bursts. They wanted controlled, continuous hypersonic speed, capable of functioning for long periods in real-world conditions. That ambition set the stage for a radical leap in engine design, one that could move far beyond what the United States had achieved and honestly redefine what was possible in the skies. The breakthrough that makes Mach 16 possible is called the Oblique Detonation Ramjet, or ODRJ, Unlike conventional jet engines, which burn fuel in a steady, controlled way, think of a candle flame, this engine uses detonation, an almost instantaneous explosion, to generate thrust. It's more like lighting a firecracker than keeping a candle burning. The oblique part refers to angled shock waves inside the engine. These angled shock waves make the detonation process much more efficient, converting far more fuel energy into forward motion. In fact, reports suggest this method can extract up to 70% more energy from the same amount of fuel compared to traditional engines. To put this into perspective, imagine a commercial jet engine as a sports car. It's fast, efficient, and reliable. The oblique detonation ramjet, by contrast, is like strapping a rocket engine to that car. It's not just faster, it's on an entirely different level. This radical approach is what allows China to aim for speeds beyond Mach 5 and potentially as high as Mach 16, far surpassing anything in current Western experimental aircraft. Designing a revolutionary engine is one thing, but proving it works is another challenge entirely. To test the Mach 16 oblique detonation engine, China built the JF-22 Ultra High Speed Wind Tunnel, which is honestly one of the most advanced facilities in the world. Unlike conventional tunnels that simulate normal jet speeds, the JF-22 can replicate conditions up to Mach 30, fast enough to mimic orbital re-entry, not just hypersonic flight. Why is this important? Well, at hypersonic speeds, even tiny errors in combustion, airflow, or material stability can destroy an engine instantly. The JF-22 allows engineers to test fuel injection, shockwave angles, and heat tolerance in a controlled, repeatable environment. 
According to state reports, the oblique detonation engine achieved stable combustion at Mach 16 inside the tunnel. That's critical because controlled reproducible tests prove the concept isn't just theoretical, it can actually work. For the aerospace community, this signaled that China was no longer experimenting in the shadows. They were pushing the boundaries of what had been thought possible in controlled real-world conditions. Reaching Mach 16 wasn't just about raw speed. It required solving problems that had stumped engineers for decades. China tackled these challenges with innovative engineering solutions. First, they developed fuel pre-spraying technology. Instead of injecting fuel mid-flight, which creates turbulence and instability, the fuel is pre-mixed and pre-sprayed, allowing for instant, precise ignition at hypersonic speeds. Second, they optimized shockwave dynamics inside the engine. By carefully angling and tuning the internal shockwaves, engineers could trigger controlled detonations that produced maximum thrust without damaging the engine. Third, they created advanced high-temperature alloys capable of withstanding the extreme friction and heat generated at Mach 16. At these speeds, conventional metals would warp or melt, but these new materials maintained structural integrity, even under extreme stress. Taken together, these innovations represent decades of trial, error, and scientific ingenuity. It wasn't just a machine being built. It was a masterclass in engineering, showing how human creativity can overcome seemingly impossible challenges. The potential military impact of a Mach 16 engine is nothing short of revolutionary. At that speed, aircraft could reach any point on the globe in under two hours, making traditional missile defense systems almost useless. By the time radar detects a hypersonic strike, the aircraft could have already completed its mission. This isn't just theoretical. Imagine rapid response troop transport, ultra fast reconnaissance drones, or precision strikes anywhere in the world, all happening before an adversary can react. Current defense systems are designed for threats moving far slower. Mach 16 changes the entire calculus of global warfare. The strategic implications are huge. Countries would have to rethink air defense, early warning systems, and military deployment strategies. In essence, sustained hypersonic capability would give China a near-instant strike advantage, a game-changing edge that could shift the balance of power in global conflicts. While the military applications are dramatic, the civilian possibilities of Mach 16 flight could transform everyday life. Imagine, you know, boarding a plane in New York and arriving in Shanghai in under an hour. Trips that currently take 15 hours would become lightning fast. Beyond passenger travel, logistics and emergency response could see, honestly, unprecedented improvements. Critical medical supplies, disaster relief aid, or high-value cargo could cross continents in a fraction of the current time, reshaping industries from airlines to global shipping. The impact wouldn't just be faster travel. It could, in fact, redefine economies and industries. Airlines, logistics companies, and even tourism could be disrupted as hypersonic technology compresses distances that once seemed fixed. This is why the world isn't just watching for military reasons. The hypersonic economy could be as transformative as the jet engine was in the 20th century. China's Mach 16 breakthrough isn't just an engineering achievement, it's a geopolitical statement. Just a decade ago, most experts agreed that China lagged far behind the United States and Russia in propulsion and hypersonic technology. Today, claims of sustained Mach 16 flight suggest they could, perhaps, leapfrog both superpowers in this critical field. This shift has major implications for global power. Hypersonic capabilities alter deterrence strategies, military alliances, and technological hierarchies. Countries that once led aerospace innovation may now find themselves playing catch-up, while China positions itself as a front-runner in both military and civilian aerospace technology. Yet questions remain. Can the technology be miniaturized for fighter jets? Is it safe enough for commercial aviation? How soon will we see real-world deployment?
These uncertainties don't diminish the fact that the game has changed and the world will need to respond, whether through innovation, strategy, or policy. The story of China's Mach 16 engine brings together science, engineering, and strategy in a way few technological breakthroughs ever have. From decades of reliance on foreign engines to overcoming extreme engineering challenges, China is signaling that it won't just compete in aerospace, it aims to lead. We're now looking at a world where aircraft could travel faster than ever imagined. Global logistics could happen in hours instead of days, and military capabilities could shift overnight. The skies are no longer just a frontier for innovation. They're a stage for global competition and power projection. So, what does this mean for you in the world? Are we witnessing the dawn of a new era in aviation? Or is this just the start of a global race for hypersonic supremacy? One thing is certain. The next chapter in flight is being written now. If you want to stay ahead of these breakthroughs and understand how they could reshape the future, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and join us here at Smart Wallet Talks for more deep dives into the world's most powerful innovations. The skies are changing, and what comes next could redefine everything.